What's up guys, Mason the Brock Anderson here, and this is the Blacklist Redemption Season 1, Episode 5, Borealis 301. So, just gonna go ahead and start off with my main problem with the show, and that is that there's a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I honestly, for half of this episode, I have no clue what's going on. Because they explain what's going on. They explain everything. They start throwing out all these names and all these titles. And I'm just like, what does this mean? <laughs> you know, like, they open up this, this episode with this German guy who is, like, I guess helping people get visas into Germany or something like that. And they're from, I don't know, some Middle Eastern country, I'm guessing. And so he's doing this, and then all of a sudden he just turns on this nerve gas, closes the doors, and kills everybody inside. And I'm just like, oh, okay, so what's this about? Well, all of a sudden it's about Tom and uh, Solomon getting onto a plane and stopping these guys from hijacking the plane. Okay, well, are they taking all these people to the same place that the German guy was at? No, they're just kidnapping this one woman, because apparently she's supposed to be the translator for some Chinese drug lord or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what any of it has to do with anything. They explain it all. And then there's this guy who I guess was in love with the woman or something like that. And so he was trying to get her out of it or something. And that's why he had the team. And It's just, it's so explainy. <laughs> I can't think of a better word. I know that sounds very childish. But that's all it does. It just explains, explains, explains. It doesn't really ever show us what's going on. It just feels like, oh, let's just have uh, Dumont here explain everything that's going on. Let's just have them throw pictures up on the screen and then talk about who these people are and what they mean to the mission. Or, <laughs> just a thought, you could show me what these people mean to the mission. You could show me exactly what's going on. What does the German guy who killed all the people at the beginning have to do with anything? I don't even I don't even know if he connected to anything at all or if that was just some random thing they threw in at the beginning but that's the one problem I have with this show the rest of it pretty good you know I've talked about before how things seem to be moving really fast as far as the main plot is concerned as as far as Scotty and uh, Howard are concerned they they seem to be going very very fast with it and they've kept it going in this one all of a sudden at the end we see Scotty talking to somebody on the phone saying move in on the target and I figured she was talking about Howard sure enough Matthias is going in now he's got Howard and put him into a truck so of course Tom sees all of this because he uh, figures out the the code in the comic book just in time to see his father being taken away but I just I don't know I like the fact that they're keeping it in line with that they're they're not saying okay guys we've been moving really fast for the first three or four episodes you know we've been figuring stuff out really really fast so let's take a break and let's just slow things down no they're just like okay so now now Tom's dad is gonna be captured by Solomon now Tom may have to go cap may have to go save him and in doing so may put himself at odds with Scotty and the team so now all of a sudden he's on the run from the team or you know, something like that it feels like anything can happen at this point as far as Tom and his dad and Scotty are concerned. It feels like anything can happen because things are just moving so, so fast. And honestly, I kind of like it. It's not very often that you see a show do this. It's not very often you see a show say, you know what, let's just take off the brakes and let's just go. Let's just, okay, all these people are probably wondering, well, what would happen if we found, what, what would happen if we found out more about Scotty? What would happen if one of the people that she cares about got hurt? We see that early on. You know, what happens if the team fails in their mission? We see that early on. What would happen if we found out something deep about Scotty? Find out she's a sleeper agent, possibly. What would happen if they found out about Tom's dad? They're finding out about Tom's dad. We're on the fifth episode. And they're answering all of these questions right away. It makes me wonder how long this show is going to last like this. You know, this, this whole setup of Tom is on the team, and that's about it them going on missions every episode it feels like it could end next episode like next episode could be all about tom trying to get his dad back and then being on the run from the the halcyon team that's what i i don't know what to expect and i kind of like that i like the fact that they give us something different every episode every episode they mix it up a little bit to where now all of a sudden it feels like the show could turn on a dime and things could go wrong very quickly so I really like what they're doing with that, and I like how they're handling it. So all in all, I mean, that's probably the only reason to watch this show right now. The cases have been some interesting, some not so much. 
this one was definitely not nearly as interesting. I mean, the concept was interesting. A bunch of people on a plane possibly being hijacked. But then all of a sudden it just turned into, oh, they just wanted to steal one woman. And it has nothing to do with what we saw at the beginning with the German guy gassing the people. So, I don't know. It just, that part of it, the mission part of it this episode definitely did not hit me. And then the the story stuff, the main plot stuff, really did. On top of that, we saw something with uh, Trevor and the assistant. Don't really know what's going on there, but apparently Scotty wants him to sign an NDA so that he can't talk about what she's been telling him about. She's been spilling all these secrets to him. Uh, so she wants him to sign an NDA, so of course that means that the assistant has to see him again, and so they're chatting it up. Obviously, they've been seeing each other on the side because you know, just from from the the dialogue that you can you can see that they've been seeing each other because it sounds like they've been talking non-stop um, so I don't know that just kinda seems on the side right now but I'm assuming it will eventually come into play uh, I don't know if this guy is supposed to be working for Tom's dad or if this is just gonna be some random guy that Tom and his dad use to try to get to Scotty but all in all I mean the story is definitely getting interesting as far as the Hargrave family is concerned I just wish that the the missions weren't so back and forth as far as quality, but hopefully that picks up too. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What did you like and dislike about this episode? Let me know we can talk about it and discuss all that good stuff. Leave a like and subscribe for future Blacklist Redemption reviews, and I'll see you at the next one. Peace out.